moving back to the window menu, we'll now be looking at all these different panels. Now these open up on the right hand side in the panel bin area. So I'll start off with the actions. There we go. And these actions in here, these are, they're kind of like the guided edit up there. There are special things that you can do to create different effects on your images. For instance, we have add a one inch white border on the bottom of our image. To run an action, just choose the action and click on that play button and it goes through and it does whatever that action says it does. Like there's that one inch. Now the way it does this is it goes through several steps. You can actually see the steps in here that it goes through. Does a canvas size, relative height one inch, vertical top and extension color is white. So it goes through several steps. And that's what all these actions do is that they go through several steps and then make, you know, then apply those different steps onto your image. Resize and crop. So here's resizing for 3x5, 4x6, 5x7. Change to a 4x4 at 300 dpi and so forth. So you have all these kind of options in here to do some of these different effects. That's some special effects. Faded ink, faded ink with vignette, sepia toning, sepia toning with grain. I'm going to undo that last thing that we did there, canvas size. And let's take a look at a faded ink with vignette. And you'll see this goes through a whole batch of steps. Does a canvas size, makes a new layer, sets a selection, does a stroke, copy, merge, delete, paste, canvas. There's a lot of stuff in here that does a whole bunch of steps. But it does them all very, very quickly. Click on that little play button. And there we go. There is that faded ink with vignette effect. So interesting little tools in here to come in and do some of these special effects kinds of things. Okay, I don't want, just want to go back to the original, so I'll just use the revert. There we go. That always works. So, it allows you to run these different actions, which are, you know, a series of steps on your image. Now, up here we have play, or, or help rather, for these specific actions on, on how they run through or how they play. And you can read more about that online takes you right to that actions help section. We'll be talking about the online help in just a little bit towards the end of this last part of our training. And some of these direct links are very useful because it's difficult nowadays to actually find anything on the Adobe help system. So having these direct links really does help. Now you can't come in here and actually make any new actions inside of elements it doesn't allow you to do that but you can create actions over in Photoshop and if those actions run the same kinds of steps here in Elements you actually can use those Photoshop actions in Elements to run the exact same steps but you have to have matching steps between the two programs for that to work. Thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful. If you like this video click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.